Hey everybody, did you know you can go to colinmullen.com in order to get art and art prints? That's why I made the website, and right now I'm doing a little bit of a sale on the originals, so if you want any of these before I move, uh, so that way I don't have to cart them with me to the next location, hit me up, colinmullen.com. So hey everybody, before we get into today's subject matter, I just want to talk about this painting a little bit, and a little bit of a weird side effect that's happened. So, I've been trying to, I don't know, I've got this weird thing about not wanting to show, like, my, uh, my process in, like, uh, my references and stuff. And so instead, I was like, you know what, I got this new monitor, it's in the shot anyway, I'm just gonna put it there because it's more convenient for me. So maybe this will help you guys uh, understand my process to some degree. Uh, usually what I'll do is I'll sketch something up and I'll release that sketch on the Patreon, uh, hopefully before this video goes live if I actually have my crap together for once. And then um, if I need a little bit more work on what I'm doing or how I need to put it together, I'll go ahead and Photoshop it together as well, which is what you're seeing in the background there on that monitor. And that's more of a guide. It doesn't have to be exact. The colors for the background were actually just, I found this really nice picture of like a forest. And I was like, I can abstract that to the point that no one will have any idea and it'll look rad and uh you know just really make the colors go crazy rather than trying to keep them pure to actual like autumn colors because i like these paints these are really fun colors of paint and i just kind of wanted to use them and uh keep it in the the style that i do and the stuff that i do so you know that's that's this painting uh normally i'm not supposed to go on this long about you know my process and and all that stuff but that links us up into today's thing so when I first started this channel, I made a video that was like the four skills that every artist needs to have. It's um, it's a good one. Uh, I recently rewatched it because I was just like, did, did I cover this already? And apparently I haven't. I've covered the business stuff to some degree, you know, how to price your commissions and stuff like that, and how to send out paintings. And, uh, you know, I've done videos on how to draw, how to paint, how to uh, do all these different things, things that I referenced in that video as some of the pillars to how you make good art. Um, but I haven't really gotten into that whole spiritual side thing that I said I was going to. And like I said in that original video, like when I say spiritual, I don't mean like, you know, in a religious sense. I mean, like we all do art for reasons. We all have some reason we're doing it. You know, maybe it's for the fame for you. Maybe it's for um, just to test your skills and your limits, or you, maybe you just like the way that, you know, paint on canvas feels when you're putting it on with a brush. That's valid too. Whatever makes you happy. But like, for some people, there's an element of it that is just a, uh, there's a, almost a philosophy behind it. And there's a sort of thing that you're thinking about when it comes down to like, how do you do art? Why do you do art? And, uh, it's something that I've been thinking about a lot recently. Um, just why I'm doing art and all that kind of jazz for me, talking about my work, talking about why I do art is exceptionally difficult. Uh, it stresses me out and it's pretty much required. It's kind of like part of the gig. Like someone will go, oh, this is really nice. What is it about? And then I'm like, sh sh shut up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. And that's not the right way of uh, approaching things at all. You know, some of them are, are nice and straightforward, like a painting of my cat and or, uh, you know, a, a cool area in a video game. But, you know, sometimes it's deeper than that. And sometimes it it uh, means something more than me or more to me than that. And getting into that and really explaining that is uh, opening myself up to a certain degree that I'm just super duper not comfortable with. Um, I think part of being an artist, like there's this this myth that artists feel things that other people don't and I think that's just yes that's the dumbest thing because it, it it's like well artists don't just happen like it's it's someone who has a skill set and decides to apply it in a certain way an artist is a, a incredibly bizarre individual like someone who has decided that they're gonna try and communicate in just outside the box kind of ways and people respect them for it artists aren't doing anything that or aren't 
feeling emotions any differently than anyone else. They're just allowed to express them to some degree. They're allowed to talk about what's going on in their head. Whereas I think a lot of daily life is about not. You know, you're asked, how are you doing? And you go, I'm okay, I'm doing good. How about you? And they say good, you know, because that's the socially acceptable way of continuing that conversation. It's a weird thing to go, today sucked. Especially when it's like the cashier at like Starbucks, but that's asking like, how's your day been? You don't go, today just sucks, man. I hate today, <laughs> you know? That's a weird thing to do. And yet that's kind of what artists are supposed to do. They're supposed to be open about like, hey, today sucked. Like just being that level of open is weirdly not acceptable, at least in my corner of the world. I mean, like, you know, I didn't grow up in a family where that was, you know, not acceptable. My family was actually very cool about stuff like that, which was great. Um, but generally speaking, you know, yeah, no, I can't go up to the person at Starbucks and be like, yeah, today sucked. That That's weird, at least here in Texas. It may be different in different places in the world, but like, and I think what I'm trying to get at here is that um, the thing that makes artists different on that level is that they're sort of expected to go to there and sort of explain themselves and talk about their emotions. And uh, we, we sing along because we have felt that too. You cry at a painting because you felt that way too, um, but you just didn't have the ability to express that or you didn't have the the range to express it maybe you just haven't flexed that muscle in that way um it's not to say that artists are any better than anyone else in fact what i'm saying is there's absolutely no difference it's just one person has sat down in front of a canvas and the other person hasn't and we have that expectation that the person sitting in front of the canvas is supposed to be doing something about it have you noticed that in this video where i'm talking about like the spiritual process of making art that I have not at one point talked about what I'm doing with my art. Anyway, let's thank the people on patreon.com slash revscarecrow. Uh, the people who have donated $5 or more, if you want, you can be in the credits here and uh, see you know the sketch for this painting and any other sketches that I do when I remember to actually upload them or actually sketch something rather than just going, I hope this works and then just going like feet first into a painting. Starting with Wapfu. Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Top Houndor. Thank you, Tinnakil. Thank you, Targo. Thank you, Spiral. Thank you, Spencer Kane. Thank you, Sir Sheepsalot. Thank you, Punkster. Thank you, Flanixia Theorat. Thank you, Orthogonal Caster. Thank you, Mortibus. Thank you, Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. Thank you, Katana Squirrel. Thank you, John Michael. Thank you, James at Games. Thank you, Gus the Ghost. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Demetrius Gazgalas. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Amber. And thank you, Ants! Oh my god, that just squared off on the, this. <laughs> Wow, that has got to sound awful. Just looking at the little waveform there, it is just like a square box. Wow, that was loud. My, my God. Okay, well, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, which I'm guessing you did if you watched it all the way to here, uh, thank you. Maybe sub. And uh, if you didn't, why did you watch this long, my dude? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.